I had to adjust to that cycle of productivity, making myself productive throughout the night. And because I'm in a different time zone, I have to spend my Friday nights at those meetings. My first day at DIM was nerve-wracking. It was a network of people that I didn't know. On an even bigger scale, it's people from like different parts of the world. So I didn't know how our interactions were gonna play out, if people would be welcoming, if there would be some, you know, awkwardness. I just didn't know what to expect in terms of talking to people from like different countries and different backgrounds and time differences was it was very difficult for me to figure out what time I'm supposed to attend and how to know you know when it's time to leave and all of that stuff and how long I would have to stay up for so I was like attached to my laptop until the very last meeting because I just had no clue what time each thing was happening and when people would speak about their time differences I was just so lost and so I just depend on the calendar to know where to go. I don't like not knowing or I like to know beforehand what I'm expected to know or at least like have a plan in front of me. I don't like last minute skills that I have to learn like immediately I kind of just have to teach myself in the moment and that personally frustrates me to no end I don't I don't know how to explain it but it gets me very frustrated I get very upset because you know I, I don't like to be uncomfortable with my skill sets uh, even if it's something that I don't know I want to be comfortable in knowing that I have what it takes to learn it or that I'm on the right path to learn it most of the assignments I had to do were technically based, like editing and stuff, and I personally do not enjoy editing. So naturally, I was never looking forward to projects that were based in that, even though that's what I'd signed up for. I had to gain a better sense of my time schedule and um, adjusting my body clock and my productivity throughout the day because meetings would start at 5 p.m. 4 p.m. for me so I had to adjust to that cycle of productivity making myself productive throughout the night and waking up on time and just planning my productivity around that and because meetings would happen on Fridays they would also obviously go into the evening and because I'm in a different time zone, I have to spend my Friday nights at those meetings. So I don't go out very often, but I would find myself having to obviously decline going out or I would just get myself stressed. I, I don't see myself as a person who can squeeze in an appointment between meetings. It just gets me very frazzled. So I'll just cancel everything and just spend my whole Friday night in the dim meetings, sounds very sad, but it's okay. <laughs> Talking to some of the other students and be relating to each other and finding comfort in each other, knowing that none of us know what's going on. So let's help each other figure things out. I have an understanding of this, you have an understanding of that. And I also got to know uh, Kanti. Kanti was the most um, outspoken person during our first few days of meeting um, so I naturally just felt more at ease talking to him because he was very friendly and charismatic and we also ended up doing a lot of projects together at the beginning of the program so we'd always find ourselves paired up and working together an hour later after our meetings and just bonding yeah.